Do you feel that neglecting religious practice is impiety or a lack of reverence for God? No, I don't believe God ever established any religious practice. The fact is that almost all religious practices that I have observed on this planet have all been the result of a person or a group of people deciding upon a religious practice that was acceptable to God without asking God whether that particular practice was acceptable. The concept that uh, God has a desire for a certain type of practice is, I feel, fraught with, with a lot of uh, impossibilities and dangers. Whenever we establish a concept about God that is our own, we are automatically establishing a concept that is out of harmony with God's concept of himself. So the reality is that God does not demand that we worship God. God does not demand even reverence from us. However, God desires love and love automatically does certain things when we are truly loving. We automatically desire to know the person, desire to, to understand the person, desire to understand their, their will and, and their long term intentions. And all of these other things are a part of desire with regard to love. So, so I feel quite strongly that religious practices are fraught with dangers and, and in fact I don't want to establish any religious practice. However, there is possibly one practice and I wouldn't actually call it a practice but rather a desire that God is looking for from us and that is this desire for God's love, the desire to have a relationship with God. If there's any practice at all, the singular practice that we need to be involved with is this desire for a relationship with God. In that desire, we will generate a desire for truth, a desire to be humble, but these will be desires and not forced upon us by our relationship with God, and they're certainly not going to be forced upon us by God herself. God has no interest in forcing us to do anything, and if we do not desire love and we do not desire humility, then of course God will allow us to make that choice.